Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to generate scrambles from the official WCA scrambler T-Noodle. So you gotta start by opening up your web browser and going to worldcubeassociation.org. Once this page loads up, you've got to go to regulations and then click on scrambles. Once you're on there, it'll give you an option to download the official scramble program. Just click on it and it'll start downloading instantly. Once it's downloaded, you can drag it onto your desktop and do whatever you want with it. For example, you can rename it like I did. Once you're done with that, and if you try and open it, it'll probably give you the error that you can't open it because it's from an unidentified developer. In this case, just go to your system preferences or whatever and go to security. In these settings, it'll probably give you a notification that says it can't open because it's from an unidentified developer, but this time you'll have an option to open it anyway. Once you allow everything, you'll get this page on your web browser. Make sure to click legacy UI because if you try and sign in with the WCA, nothing really happens. After it loads, you will be displayed with this. You can choose the event you want to generate and select as many rounds as you want. For example, I want 2x2 two two scrambles for one round and now I'm going to walk you through how this procedure works. You start by choosing the name of your competition. For example, I chose Random Cube Open 2020 cause why not? After this, you can choose multiple things. You can choose the number of scramble sets you need, for example, for Heat 1, Heat 2, or Heat 3, or etc. After this, you can choose the number of attempts required. For 2 through 5, Peras, Cube, Clock, and all those events, you require 5 attempts, of course. And for 6x6, 7x7, and the blindfolded events, you require 3 attempts. Then, you can choose the number of extra scrambles needed for E1 and E2. Finally, the number of copies required, which is basically just for printing purposes. After this, you go up and hit scramble. There should be a folder downloading on your computer, so just wait for it. After it's downloaded, open the folder that's come on your computer. You'll see a lot of options. But the one you need to click on is the zip folder. It'll unzip on its own and release the new folder into this folder. After this, click on the secret text folder. This will contain all the passcodes for the rounds of scrambles you generated. Make sure to copy this passcode and then open the folder that the zip folder produced. Then open up the PDF of the round of scrambles you want to do and then just paste the passcode in it. After you hit enter, you should see the scrambles you generated along with the number of extra scrambles you generated too. There is another method of getting to the scrambles if you are too lazy to copy and paste the passcode and unzip the file. Click on the printing folder and within that you will see another folder labeled scramble sets. Open the folder and within that you will see scrambles for all the rounds you generated. Open the scramble set you wanna do and this time you will be let in without the passcode. So that's about it for my video on how to generate official WCA scrambles using T-Noodle. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and bye.